Hey guys, welcome back to the weekly top five. Today we're starting off with number five, which is the OMU Diving Academy. So let's get started. First off, this is really odd. He chose to make this a vehicle, yet it is kind of an environmental spawn. And so you have to go find the island and then you have to load it as a vehicle. And then, you know, well, it's not loaded as a vehicle, but the old, old Stormworks uh, building system that it had on the oil well or not the oil well the oil rig and this island it's using that instead of an environment so i think this should be an environment and it would be a lot better so you don't have to look for the island and you can mark it on the map and supposedly this adds missions and some other stuff so with that out of the way let's go ahead and check it out i'm going to go ahead over here and look at this this is locked via mission so we have to unlock this by doing missions again it just feels like an environmental mod and not a vehicle, so I can't load anything else in here because well, I guess maybe I can use that bench. But uh, I, don't, I don't know; it's, it's very strange. Uh, I would like to hear why uh, the creator chose to do a um, you know island vehicle island structure mod instead of a environment mod. But here we go, coming on inside, and it says, "Welcome, kids. Feel free to explore. You are staying in room five until you rank up." The classroom is open from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, watch the videos. Oh, that reminds me. On the top right of this video right now, right up there, right up there, there are two videos. Uh, I did not watch them yet, but it goes through this thing in more detail. And you probably want to check those out because we're going to be buzzing through these because I have lots to do in the real world. So we're going to go ahead and uh, buzz through this. But uh, do check out those videos. Okay, so we have... Looks like where you get your ID badge and stuff like that. Come inside, sit on the stool for a photo. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Oh, that's mission again. Mission, mission, mission. Okay. Garage workshop. Okay, cool. That's really neat. Electrical room. We're probably not allowed to touch that because we're just a cadet. What else do we have? Call elevator. Infirmary. Um, classroom, I guess. Begin semen training. Oh. Report to the security office for your onboarding. Okay. So I click that. And we go to the security office. Oh, there we go. Security office. Okay. I sit down. I took my picture. Where's my picture? I don't see my picture. Oh, I thought I was using that mod. I'm going to sit down again. Ooh. And I'm Oh yeah. Oh, and do one of these. Is that right? Oh yeah. And ooh, let me look mean. Mm, mean. Okay. And let me look happy. Oops. Try me try again. Happy. There we go. Oh my gosh. I am such a good model. Okay. Let's go back over here. Nope. Not there. Over here. I did do that. All right. What else did I have to do? I took a bunch of pictures. Do I have to click something on the wall. Arm alarm. Do I go through here? Then head up to the admin desk. Oh, okay. Head. Is this? Wait. Where's the admin? Is it up? Is the admin desk up here? Press the button to sign the paperwork. Let's step to the HR. Mm, HR. HR. Okay. Uh, watch the video at blah, blah, blah. Onboarding and enter the code in the whiteboard. Oh, that's cool. So he tried to make interactive, which is one of those features that I've always wanted in games. So, there was one game, I don't remember what it was, but you were able to use external videos inside the game. So if you did a mod, you could load up the video in the game and then people could watch it. And so I always thought it would be a really cool idea. It's like for Stormworks, so if you're doing a mission or a story mission like this, you could, you know, click a button and then a video would pop up. Ah, welcome to Stormworks um, OMU diving facility. And you do a whole thing like that. That might be something we should add to the next game, you know, uh, the ability to, I don't know, show videos or something. I don't know, but very cool. So I'm not going to go through all of this right now. So we know that we're going to have to go watch the video and all that good stuff. So you're going to want to do that on the top right here or go ahead and download this and give it a try. Let's just check out our room. I'm curious about that. Five. There we go. There's our room. And apparently we have to share it with somebody. What? Yeah. But uh, uh, anyways, this is the OMU mod. I don't know if it's a mod. OMU Mission Academy. And uh, 
you can download it in the description below and check it out and actually do the missions. Maybe we'll do this some other time with the crew, but for right now, well, we're all have to fit in room five. Maybe we won't do it with the crew because that would be not comfortable. But uh, let's get to number four. So this is the OMU Diving Academy and this was by 454SS and you can download it in the description below. All right, coming at number four, this is the SS Vittoria and this is by Matthias and Daniel 42. And uh, there we go. So let's check it out. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and look through it because again, we're on a tight schedule. So we're just gonna go ahead and, you know, go through some doors flying through. Look at it, we have a nice room in here. Got our stairs. Let's go ahead and go down. Let's see what's down in here. Got rooms, very nice. And I'm not sure what this is. Little sitting room and a bathroom. Okay, cool. Let's make our way through here. Going to the back, well, should we go back to this back door? Oh, there we go, there's the engine room. That's what I wanted to find. Uh, there's the engine room. There's the shaft. And looks nice, I was using the pistons. Okay, cool. Let's come back through here real quick. I know I'm clipping. And let's check out the top over here. Yeah, through the window. So we've got a nice little room in here. And again, this goes down. There's a clock, I like the clock, looks nice. We're back in here again, okay. And what do we got here? Sink, a sink button, <laughs> okay. Interesting, never saw it put like that before, but sure. And then we have the helm. All right, let's see if we can get it started. Uh, we have to go down to the boiler room, of course, and I'll go ahead and teleport so I don't waste your time having me jump around like a fool. All right, so it says go down to the boiler room and start the boiler, or heat up the boil. Where's this is the boiler room, right? Hmm. Oh no, I am not making this into a long video. So just show me where the boilers boil and I will be a happy camper here. Okay, maybe they start up here. Boilers on top, maybe? Crap. Engine room. Okay, <clears throat> not one where I can't find a boiler. So apparently the boiler rooms are not located near the uh, engine room. Interesting, okay, so let us actually take the stairs here. So we have to go down maybe? Through here. There we go. They're over here. Way over here. Okay, cool. Turn on the firebox. Is that it? That's all I had to do? Okay, well that was that was easy. Yeah. Okay, wow. All right. Interesting and cool and easy. I like it. All right, let's go ahead and head up to the helm. Uh, let's see. Boiler temperature's almost boiling. Let's turn on these lights. Exterior lights. And while we're waiting, let's go ahead and check it out at night. Okay, there it is at night. You see the lighting down the bottom, all the way top, looks really nice. And you could probably see it if you wanted to try to sink it with a sub. So, very cool. All right, are we hot enough yet? Let's check it. Oh yeah, we should be hot enough. All right, let's go ahead and increase the speed. Do we have a speed speedometer, speedometer? I don't know what you call it, on the ship. No, guess not, we just go. All right, so let's check it out from the outside real quick again. Pretty quick little ship. Starts off really fast. Uh, let's see, let's uh, jump down. Of course, I fell in the water. All right, so let's go back to this room and help, help. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and bow sink. Oh, what does it say? Okay, bow sink plus later torpedo hit, stern sink, Later boiler needs weapons. Okay, let's try that. Sinking at midnight is recommended. Okay. Okay, well, so far nothing is happening. Let's go ahead and hit the button for the second one. Okay, it's letting water in. Okay, takes a bit. All right, so we'll just wait. See what happens. Okay, well, it's taking a really long time to sink. So I think we'll go back up to the top. Maybe I need to slow down because nothing's happening. So let's try that. Let's just go dead in the water here. All right, so now we're sitting low in the water. Maybe it's just going too fast and keeping this ship up. 
And apparently the torpedo is supposed to hit somewhere. I mean, a simulated torpedo hit, I assume. Okay, so we're definitely sinking, but I haven't seen a torpedo hit in the front or a boiler exploding yet. So that's what we're waiting for. Oh, I think that might have been the boiler. Or was that the torpedo? But maybe that was... The Wait, that was the boiler, because that's in the middle. <laughs> now it's trying to go faster. There was like a thing in the back, but the torpedo is supposed to hit in the front, I think. So, that's odd. But wouldn't the torpedo hit you first, and then you start to sink? I don't know. But anyways, this is the SS Vittoria by Matthias Sandaniel42, and you can download it in the description below. Let's get to number three. All right, coming at number three is the analog dashboard, and this is by Basilicious. And basically, this is just a very cool dashboard for your car. Why are there two seats, I wonder? Okay, let's turn that on. Okay, all the little things come to life. And we can do our speed, RPS, temp, our hazards, our left, oops, turn off our left, our right, our high beams, shown right there. Our low beams sh are shown over there, or just lights, I guess. Handbrake, red. What is this? Alternator charge. Where did that move at? Is that it? I don't know where was that. What's that? Okay, there's that. There's that one, and then battery charge. There's it right there. Okay, cool. And this one. It's just a very simple version, I guess. Um, I guess. Let's see, speed. Oh. Oh, it's showing you can use buttons, I guess. Okay, so speed. RPS. Temp. Uh, fuel. Handbrake. Hazard lights. Left, right. High beams. Lights. There you go. That's it. It's right here. It's the uh, microcontroller. Why are those floating things? Why are those floating things? I don't even know. But uh, yeah, anyways, there you go. So you can download number three in the description below. Let's get to the next one. All right, coming in at number two is the Jackknife Starter. Oops. Oh, it's looks a lot bigger in the picture. It's the Jackknife Starter Carrier Tank. Or sorry, Career Tank. <laughs> carrier Tank. Jackknife Starter Career Tank by Turbo Shark. And uh, oh boy, he has a lot of text. We're not going to read all that. Instructions? We can do instructions. But uh, apparently this is trying to get ready for the next update, which is the oil thing. So let's go jump on it and check it out. Really, really compact. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger in the picture. But uh, let's see. Start the engine with the key left of the string. Oh, it's easy. I like easy. Easy's good. Uh, let's see. There we go. To the left. To the left. Wait, what? Turn on the lights here. That's not very bright. Turn all the lights on. What's that? Engage autopilot. Sorry about that. Um, where does it say? So it's the engine with left of the steering wheel. Do you see a button left of the steering wheel? It's on the right, you trickster you. It's on the right. There we go. Okay. Um, wait for the RPM to stabilize. Add throttle. All the clutches are automatic. All right. There we go. All right, boom, done. That's it, we're, we're, that's it, we can leave now, we're done. Okay, so let's just check it out on the deck real quick. But first, let's check out this little room here. What's down there? Oh, do I wanna go down there? Sure, why not? Oh, it's a little tiny engine. Okay, can we get back out of here? Yay, we can, yay! No, we can't, no! Hold on, turn to the right, no, hmm. Do we have to jump? Jump, 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 jump. Okay, jump. Okay, that's that did it. All right, let's look at the back. That's the back. Oh, wait, that's a side. Oh, my gosh, I'm lost on the little boat. So we've got this. It's locked. Can't go into the bunker. And we've got little pumps here, system here, pumping system. And another locked bunker. Okay, that is it. So let's just kind of check it out from the outside. And there it is. Quick little thing to haul your oil around and it's easy to start 
except the button is on the right side, just an FYI. So that is number two. So let's head over to number one. Of course, you can download this in the description below. All right, coming in at number Oh, I thought it was upside down for a second. It looked like that was a bottom. Uh, that was so crazy. Okay, let me do a camera on the other side. All right, coming at number one is the MS Capitan. Uh, Elias, I don't know how to say that. Ilias or ES. Mert, uh, Stormlink compatible passenger boat, and this is by Western Spy 69. And apparently this is kind of based on a real ship, so uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's jump on it and see what it looks like. Oof. Ouch. That's a long height. Okay. Um, it wants me to use it on infinite fuel. Sure. Why not? Okay. There we go. Uh, so. Let's check it out. This is the seating area. This is maybe a little bar. So lots of seating. Uh, if you're using Stormlink, you can haul a lot of people. We've got the boys' bathroom indicated by blue, unless you're colorblind. And the pink one, and it got about pink. All right, cool. So that's that lower section. How do we get up on the higher section? Did I miss a staircase? No, there it is. Okay, going up, we've got the outside seating. Very nice. And then, of course, we have the inside area here. And we can check this out. Let's see what's back here didn't come on. I thought it was going to automatically come on, but it didn't. Okay. Um, we've got a little bedding room here, and that's about it. So it's mostly for taking passengers. Let's get inside and see what happens when we turn on. Maybe? Is there a key that I'm missing? Oh, there we go. What do we got over here? Radar, camera, speaker. Does it need infant electricity too? Oh, there's a whole thing back here. Perhaps not. Okay, let's do this. Oh, okay. What's that do? Oh, that's... Okay, okay. We're good. All right, now what? Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. We can click these. And turn on the lights. Let's see what it looks like at night. Wow, look at that. That is bright. You can really see in there. If you, there are passengers in there. Oh my gosh, you can see all the passengers. Very nice. Nice lighting. All right, so let's get it going. Uh, what do we do? Okay, we got cameras so we can see where everybody's at. Do we just push forward? Maybe not. Do we hit W? <laughs> okay. We should read the directions. Go to the bridge, turn all the flip switches between the chemistry, go to the engine bay. Enters on the back of the first floor's interior. On the back of the first floor's interior. On the back of the first floor's... In oh. There's a bath... Oh. Down here? Oh. Down here. Okay. Guess we just pop these. Pop that. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't know this was all down here. That's cool. Got a little room down here, and a kitchen. Oh, this is very cool. Okay, and now we're rolling. Oh, look. Okay, cool. Uh-oh. Uh oh I don't know why I hit the side, but we did. And look at that beautiful damage. Okay. There we go. So now we're in the chair, and we are rolling with some damage. But... Uh, <laughs> It did start. I probably shouldn't have left it with the full throttle on. But, uh, yeah, very cool. Nice looking boat. Passenger ship, that is. And you can download this in the description below, along with all the other ones. So that is it for today. This has been the Weekly Top 5, and I will see you on Friday. Again, working on a project, so it's going to be a while. So hang in there, and uh, we'll get some regular videos going. Also, Char Lizard is back, so he's been working on the... Uh, convoy add-on so excited about that so if i have any news on that i will make a video but for right now i'm going to say goodbye thank you for subscribing don't forget to hit the bell so it goes ding dong when i upload a new video and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and i will see you next time